Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to try to make a quick video. Try to make it quick. <laughs> As you can see, I've been playing Pokemon Sun and Moon lately. Well, Pokemon Moon, because that's the copy I got. Yeah, Pokemon Sun, the legendary undercover, look cool, look like a white liger from um, Zoids, but I figured I'm Slate Tanner Gym. I'll go with Moon, and if I play at nighttime, at least it'll be daytime in the game, so that'll be a mood lifter, right? <laughs> but, anyways, this is my member queue I caught in the game. My very first Mimikyu I caught. And, um, I kind of like that Pokemon. I decided very on that out of the six Pokemon I play with, Mimikyu is going to be one of them. And that was pretty much it. I didn't even like the three starters. I picked this starter. But, I know we're talking about Mimikyu. This is my Mimikyu. I was like, you know what? I need a six IV Pokemon. I got this Pokemon off the Wonder Trade. It's shiny. And it's hacked. And it's got perfect IVs. And it's competitively trained. I mean, like, it's speed and, like, it, it dominates. Like, it's a badass Pokemon. If you know how to use it properly. I don't, but it dominates. But it's hacked. So I can't use it. And I can't breed with it. So I'm like, well, what the fuck, man? That's the one I've been using. So it's like, I need to breed. A Mimikyu. So, I went and I looked up online how to catch Dittos with at least four IVs. And, you know, I got the Alakazam. Nature Timid ability, synchronized. I don't know nothing about Nature's. I just grabbed this motherfucker off the Wonder Trade because I found out if you grab him off the Wonder Trade, he'll evolve. So, I evolved him. <laughs> He got Trick and the Lapa Berry. I got the Munchlax with Recycle. Snorlax with Hold Back and Yawn. This Hacked Ash Shazazzle with Flamethrower 24pp, Dragon Pulse 10pp, Venom Shock 10pp. And when an imposter transforms into Shazazzle, Dragon Pulse is still effective and will one shot kill it. So you got basically 10 Dragon Pulses for. If you're trying to get to a 40 chain IV, like a 40 chain, you know, to try to get the four IVs, and say like three or four dittos appear along the way, and they're imposters, Dragon Pulse will one shot them. <clears throat> Easy. You ain't got to worry about, you know, using two flamethrowers or two venom shocks. and You can count your PP to keep track of how many you killed. It's very easy. And like I said, you get the 40, and eventually you catch a ditto. It might not be the 40th one, it might be the 41st, 42nd, but eventually one would appear after 40, that's an imposter. That's the one I catch, and I got this. HP sucks, speed kind of sucks. And I started breeding with it. These have Dusk Balls, mine had Luxury Balls, but I got a ditto off the Wonder Trade that had pretty good IVs, and it was from a different country, so I figured, you know, I'll use it, because, you know, I guess you get faster eggs or something. But all the babies was kind of looking, you know, like the mother ditto, like best, 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 but shitty HP was like, you know, I mean, I get some good ones. So I was like, I need another ditto. So I did the same thing, 40 something ditto later, bam, got one. I was like, okay, I like that. I was like, you know what? I want a 5 IV one. Try to do it again. Got a 4, but I was like, you know what? I'll go with this one because, you know, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm not really worried about special attack or defense. Like, as long as it has perfect speed and HP, like, that's the main thing I'm worried about. So I started breeding with them, and I was getting Pokemon like this, you know, just close, but not close enough. And I had a 5 IV, you know, Mimikyu. Finally got one. Finally got a 5 IV up Mimikyu. Put a Destiny's Knot on it. Put an Everstone on this Ditto. Even though it's Nature's Brave. I don't know what that really means. Uh, as you see, my Alakazam has synchronized. It's Nature was timid. So, when it caught the Ditto, the Nature didn't carry. So... And the baby turned out to be 
Brave. Okay. But its IVs are perfect. Sounds like, hell yeah. Got me a perfect IV. Maybe kill. Sorry if my voice sounds all messed up. I got a cold right now, but um, yeah. I went online. I followed the, you know, tutorials on how to, you know, farm for a 4 IV. Ditto. And I did that. And clearly that works. I did all the breeding things. I got the Destiny's Knot. I got the Everstone. I, I tried to do everything like all you motherfuckers are telling us how to do. And dude, it was easy. Like, it was easy as hell. I got six IV. And then I took like what? I think of one day, if you just spent the whole day, like, actually trying, like, you can do it one day, like, easy. It took me, like, three or four days of just a couple hours here and there of trying to farm for dittos and trying to hatch eggs and trying to level up Pokemon to get the Destinies out. Basically, getting the Destinies out was the hardest part. See, I bred this ditto. It has the luxury ball. But like I said, I tried to breed with the one from the Wonder Train, so I'll get eggs faster. That's why it's in the Death Ball. But now I gotta figure out how to breed this as a 6 IV, because this is my starter. That I want to eventually make this a 6 IV, because I caught that thinking, yeah, I'm gonna go catch this big badass Pokemon. Hey, this IV sucks. I was like, you know what? I heard this Pokemon is supposed to be good. I went there, fished like three times. The coral Pokemon appeared. It called for help. After like the three times called for help, one of these appeared. I put it to sleep, threw a ball at it, caught it. I don't know why people act like it's so damn hard to catch Pokemon. Like, nigga, you put it to sleep and you throw a ball at it. It's like level 13. I used the Ultra Ball. You're like guaranteed to catch the motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, I caught it, leveled it up evolved it taught us some skills it's like the IV sucks i'm like damn i guess ivs are like really important caught this thing IV suck caught that IV suck this happy motherfucker IV suck got that off the one trade though i think yeah because i figure if i'm gonna breed with it you know give me faster eggs i got this off the one trade it has five IVs, so I'm trying to build a team, but basically the next one I'm going to work on is this one, this one, this one, maybe make a new one of these. I would like to have a Scyther or a Gengar or a Hunter or a Scissor or you know, something cool, but I don't know. These are the Pokemon I'm working with. And I hope you can breed these, yeah, because that's a girl. Because I know, like, the legendaries you can't breed. Because, like, you know, can't breed that. Can't breed the dog, huh? See, I'm learning. I'm learning what you can and cannot breed. Like, there's no way to breed a new Snorlax that knows the skill. Hold back. Like, that's the only one that can have that skill, right? So I can't get rid of him. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm basically, you know, haven't played Pokemon since first or second generation. This is my first time back. You know, this is all new to me. And I got my first 6 IV Pokemon. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, make a video of it, put it on YouTube. If there's anybody else there that's wondering, like, can you really make a legit 6 IV Pokemon and have, like, absolutely no fucking clue what it is you're doing? Yes. Yes, you can. I am proof of that. It's not hacked. There's no little symbol or whatever, you know, it's hatched by me, like, like, I hatched pages of these motherfuckers, like, I even deleted pages of them, because, like, the first two or three pages, I had, like, no clue what the hell I was doing, so, we well, can see, I kind of started figuring out what I was doing at the end, at the beginning, like, I really had, like, no clue what I was doing, like, this is what this was one of my parents that I was breeding with because like I had no clue what I was doing so yeah I'm not saying I got like the best Pokemon in the game I'm not saying I caught like all the rare Pokemon but you know I, you know, I caught some I'll show you real quick hold on try to get some focus real quick 
I mean, I'm sure if you guys play Pokemon enough, you know some of these Pokemon from the little sprite image here, so. So I ain't really got nothing too special. So I tried breeding Scythers. And, you know, I catch a lot of Pokemon to try to, you know, have something cool to offer on the Wonder Trade. Thinking that, you know, if I put something cool up, I might get something cool in return. Or just to, you know, help somebody out that's new and you know, might want, you know, one of these weird looking Pokemon. So yeah, um, this is my video about Pokemon Moon. Yeah, I know I'm a grown ass man playing Pokemon, but um, hey man, it's cold. I can't go outside and play Pokemon Go. I did play Pokemon Go. I ain't gonna lie. I'm watching the video right now. Trainer Tip Nick. <laughs> like I said, I haven't played Pokemon since the first or second generation. I'm just now getting back into it. I was playing Pokemon Go for a while. I had this Nintendo 3DS laying around. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play some Pokemon. Then I started seeing like all you guys' videos on YouTube and you guys like show videos on how to catch like Pokemon or how to breed Pokemon. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to breed Pokemon. And I did it. And you can do it too, YouTube. You can do it too. Well, see y'all next time. Thanks for watching this long ass motherfucker video. I'm gonna go get high and breach more Pokemon and charge my own. Charge my 3DS. Later.